I rise here very skeptical because I'm not sure if I'm going to get an adequate answer because after submitting this question. No, you, you know. After, after asking my questions, Speaker, after posing my questions to proceedings, I was called by members from the department wanting to know where this place is. Hence, I'm very skeptical that if I can get a call to say they don't even know where the place is, the regional office is not sure what I'm talking about. I become very worried. But anyway, I'm asking the question now. If I say ask a question, you can come with clear you only ask the question. No, it's fine. I was just stating my dissertation. Because you're eating on your time as well. Okay. With regard to the community of Puma Silo in Tembisa, could the MEC please indicate whether the MEC has visited the community to witness the living conditions there, is there any real plan to provide the community with decent and proper housing units? If yes to the above, when will this be done? Where will the community be moved? And if no, what is the cause of today? Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Let me just dispel the, the, the point made by the Honorable Member about the officials not knowing where the place is. This place, we know it as material. So we, we had to verify whether we're talking about the same place. And I think it was correct for the officials to verify that. And if the member's question was really in, in, for, for a good cause, should have been pleased that we wanted to show that we're talking about the same place. But in any way, we, now that we have established that we're talking about the same place, the reply is, uh, as MEC have not visited the place, but uh, uh, the members of the Rapid Response Unit did visit the uh, Matela Kufa. They have compiled the report. And I know the place, but I've not gone there as MEC uh, since appointed. Now, there is a plan uh, to address the housing needs of the people of Matela Kufa. In actual fact, this is a presidential program. Uh, President <coughs> Consumer has been to the place. And there is a program to address the housing requirements of the people of uh, Matena Gufa. In actual fact, and this is a reply to question three, the community of Matena Gufa will benefit from the Clayville housing project. Uh, and I'm pleased, uh, Speaker, to announce that uh, this Thursday, uh, tomorrow, uh, up to Monday, we will be allocating 200 houses in Clayville for the residents of Matela Kufa. I will be going there next week, Monday, uh, as part of, to complete the end over uh, of the houses. And lastly, that uh, Clayville is part of our mega projects. There are 200 houses that I'm saying have been completed and we'll be building more houses. And the beneficiaries there are from Matela Kufa. Thank you. Is there any to were quick to help and they didn't have any understanding. I'd like to correct the MEC. There's a difference between Matela Hufa and Pumasilwe. Pumasilwe is in what two in Tembisa? It is between Hospital View and Meriti. It's not the same as Matela Hufa. So the answers that you've just given me are very inadequate. It shows again that there's a lack of there's incompetency in your department. Because I ask a question about one area, you answer me with another one. I ask again. When will the people of Puma see will be moved? They've been there since 1998. And to this day, the department doesn't even know that more than 100 families exist in Tembisa. What kind of government is that? Yeah, maybe, maybe without actually compromising the MEC, I'm not going to allow you to respond to that. Because some of these names are not official names. Uh, Puma Sibe is not a registered name. You should have assisted before that time. But I'm saying you can't actually insult the department and say they're incompetent no. when they're using a name that is used by
proceed. I have a point of order. Honorable Fiscal, I will ask you. I have a point of order. It's a point of order, speak. I have to be noted because I'm raising a point of order. And it's a procedural issue. It is procedural. Issue. It is procedural. May, may I be allowed? I don't believe that the speaker is allowed to speak on behalf of the executive. The speaker is not allowed to respond. The speaker is supposed to be neutral. The speaker may be a deployee of the ANC here, but the speaker is not representing the ANC when the speaker is in the house. Therefore, the speaker must resist the temptation to want to defend the executives of the ANC when they are failing to answer questions. And departments for that matter. I think that, that is correct, but as the chairperson, I have every right to protect members of this particular house. So if <laughs> are you protecting them from accounting? Are you protecting them from accounting? If a matter that is not if a matter if a matter that is not in fact can respect the house. If a matter that is not factual is being raised in the house, as a presiding officer, I need to protect the house. So that's on that, on that basis. I'm not okay. Can I can I have a follow-up question? I have a follow-up question. You are making a mistake not to recognize me. Point of order. Can you recognize me on a point of order? Can I not respond to the mission procedures? Yes, uh, Madam Speaker. You know what, Madam Speaker? We are not going to sit in this uh, sitting here and listen to the Speaker to protect this man. Now. This man must provide the answers because he, he provides the wrong information to us. The community outside them, they are crying. This man sit here and then provide the wrong information to us. Can I allow you to sit down? This can I ask you to sit down? It's not a point of, of procedure that you are raising. Uh, speaker, you are you are Honourable Speaker, sorry, Speaker. I've got another follow-up so, question. Sorry, Speaker, with, with true respect, we don't want to be we don't want to be misquoted and misunderstood in the house. Please. But one of the that I don't recognize you. But speaker, 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 but Honourable Sundane, can you sit down, please? I will sit down. You have made your point. Saying. No, 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 thank you. Thank you. Sit down. I've got another question. Honourable Sundane, you should sit down. But I've got a few more questions. When will I be answered? Can I ask you to sit down? But when will I be answered? You are not going to use your own standing orders in this house. I have allowed you to be answered. But when will I be answered? Can you show me at least how you want to be answered? Where will the answer be answered? Point of order. I'm not going to allow any member to either call yeah, somebody a man or a woman because we call each other honorables in the house. That's the first point. Number two, where will they answer? Where is the answer? We want them. That's why I am allowed to call the rules. But we need to be clear. We need to be clear. Madam Speaker, Rule 84, headed Freedom of Speech, says in accordance with Section 117 of the Constitution, members must be allowed to speak and debate freely in the legislature. Now, as much as we might find uh, utterances by Member Zimbo repugnant, the fact of the matter is that she is protected by Rule 84. If you go to Rule uh, Member Zimba's speech out of order, please could you cite which rule you are using to, to rule out of order? Fortunately, I did not really hear out of order. I just said if you raise something that is not factual, in terms of the name of the particular area which was mentioned, which is used by the ordinary community, has not, and it's not the name that is registered. Are you speaking as a... 
inform us, uh, Mayor of the Kuruleno or the Speaker of this Legislature? Are you speaking as a former one? Can I allow the interest? I, I still have a follow-up question, Speaker. And you're suppressing me. That there are rules on the road, Simba, and I'm sure you're going to respect the rules. Can you go back to the rules? Honorable, uh, respect. But we are not respecting the rules. Why do you want us to respect those rules? Does it know anyone? The rules themselves. Thank you for the clarification. I'd like to ask the MEC um, whether the houses that he's talking about in Clayville are the 200. Uh, houses that were built for the elderly in Clayville Extension 45, which was specifically set aside for that group of people. And secondly, what are the timelines for the further development of that area for these residents? Thank you very much. I'm sure the question was related to Ubasiwe. Uh, Ubasiwe. Not around David. So, in terms, of, as I asked, in terms of the rules, the question must be relevant to what has been asked. So, the question has nothing to do with David. It has to do with Kumasi's speech. Honorable Zimba corrected the MEC to say he's not, she's not talking about that country, either. she's talking about Kumasi, which, according to him, to her, Honourable Sindane, to MEC for help. 